said you hit two months ahead to make sure the beach house gets ready. And instead, you find us the Adams family's house? It's a very small island, brother. This is the only house the whole family can fit in. He's got a point. But my brother did offer for us to go to his house. Peace. Come to my house. Not to you. You're very nice, Vince. Thank you. What the hell? Look, Dad. Cemetery. Cool, right? What's wrong with you? You scared us. Sorry. I'm sorry I should have told you about this backyard. No kidding. Just aged 10 years. I told you this place is creepy. This is a little bit more than creepy. What is this all about anyway? The natives believe that this house was built on a cemetery, like a swan. A what? A swan. <laughs> Did you say a swan? A swan. It's a ghoul in Filipino folklore. Whoa, tell us more. Later. And we have to decide where we're going to sleep. Please, come to my place. It is too dangerous here. I appreciate Vince, but I don't believe in myths. Besides, I don't feel comfortable in posing the five of us to your family. I want to stay here. It's going to be weird. You're weird enough. But I want to stay here, too. You know me, all for the spooky treat. <laughs> no wonder you picked this place. Good enough. Well, if you guys are crazy enough to want to spend the night, I'll give it a shot. But don't come crying to me if you guys can't sleep. OK, then. Let's look at the inside. Na ay dao tayong spirito. Ayaw ka bala ka, Vince. Kung kayaw na gani, derecho kami sa inyong mong palay. The place needs a little clean up. A little? Okay. The place needs some work. But I think we could do it if we all work together. What's well, family for, huh? What's going on? There's something outside. Maybe we should go stay at my brother's. Are you freaking nuts, man? It's the middle of the night. Relax, everybody. We're not going anywhere. It's just their imagination going wild after hearing all those stupid stories. Oh, I saw something. Okay then, let's go check it out. <coughs> ah, uh, uh, shit, what was that? It's a bird. Probably flew into the window and scared the living crap of the kids. Dude. I think it was still alive when I fucking stepped on it. Flew into the window, huh? There ain't no window there, bud. At 
that explains the shadow. Jeez. <laughs> it's enough for one night, man. guys. We're done cleaning. Why don't we spend the day at the beach? Cool. Where are our swim trunks? It's upstairs by the corner. We got wild waves in this one. We're not going to make it. We're not going to make it. We still have to clean up at the house. Oh, come on, you don't have to stay. There's no way you guys are sleeping here tonight by yourselves. Well, no, nah, Jake's gonna come. Oh, he is, is he? Yeah, sure, why not? We'll have a blast. That is, if Mama says it's gonna be okay. Mom? Richard, what do you think? Well, now I have to be the bad guy? Okay, you guys can stay tonight, but no swimming after dark. Nice! Thanks, Dad. You really think that's a good idea? What do you think about it? We'll be all alone tonight. Oh. Giggity, giggity, giggity. Woo! <laughs> Not too bad, move this a little farther away so we can kill ourselves. Some wood, my man. Nice. Back up, back. <laughs> I am glad you did this. So am I. <laughs> I don't know. Did you hear it? Yeah. Can you go check what it is? Probably something fell though. Maybe we have some rats. Can you go see? Okay. I'll go check the basement. I love you. I know. Be careful. Just sit down, Mac. the hell out of me. You scared me. What's going on? I heard you scream. I just fell. Why don't you do that in the morning when you can see something? Sleep? I was, dummy. No, so loud. Come on, let's go swim. 
But Dad said not to. I know what Dad said. But we had so much fun. Not if we get caught. But we won't. Come on, just for a little while. Besides, it be safe to let me go alone. I hate you. Okay, but just for a few minutes, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Gotcha. You're a jerk. <laughs> Not funny, dude. Well, maybe next time you won't go in the water without telling me at night. Come on, let's get out of here. Alice, don't move. It's gonna pass right over you, okay? Just stay still. You're doing great. Holy cow! <coughs> now that is neat! Yeah, this place keeps getting creepier by the minute. That is so cool. Right? And you're getting weirder. Wait a second, whoa, 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 whoa. I thought you guys were into haunted films and spook provision and stuff like that, right? <laughs> yeah, I am. Right, right. Well, you get it for free here, bud. Yeah, but this is different. Are you serious? What, do you listen to Uncle Vince's stories again? That guy is full of bull. Of course not. Oh yeah? Tough stuff, huh? Tough cookie, huh? Alright. How about we play a little game my old, old aunt taught me a while back. <laughs> what kind of game? Talking to ghosts, buddy. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you're crazy. A little bit, a little bit, but it is a good time. Especially when you got a place like this to do it in. What do you say? Come on, yeah, I'm right? In. I know I'm you're in. in. What about you? Why not? Yeah? Really? Tough stuff. All right, we need a pen, some paper, powder, and like a, uh, like a cup, like an empty, empty wine glass. I know you. Yeah, all right, I'll go get it. All right, well, oh, hold on. We're going to go back and sing some karaoke, buddy. Song and dance, come back, get into a trance. All right. All right, let's go. 
Good morning, Mr. Richard. And this is Jake. Oh. Hey, partner, how are you doing? Not too good, I'm afraid. I'm here on official business, Mr. Richard, and uh, I'd like to talk to your wife. Yeah, sure. Is that a little piece of wood? Thank you, sir. Nay mga milagro nga nitabo karon. Mga lubong nagipang ungkab o mga bata na wala. Mga bata? Ngayon sila mo doon yung panahon nga ang aswang maghimog lahin aswang. Mga ba? Hindi pag na ang mga mananambal. Manhin na daw karun. Mga basidwa kaadlaw. Tia, uh, kung nai mga milagro ba nga makitaan ka niya, mga di mao, tawagi lang niya ako, ha? Sige, tawagan lang kita. Sige. Pag-ayayo na si mong pamilya. Ikaw po. Salamat. Salamat. Hello. What are you doing? Did I frighten you? A little. How about you, young man? Okay. Hey, guys. What are you up to? There's a lady here. We were talking to her. Okay. Yeah, um, she just left. Hey, right, let's go inside. Then she just disappeared. Quite an interesting woman. Well, I don't like it. Which part? The beautiful eyes or the veil? I don't like a stranger in our backyard, beautiful or not. I got it. But, seriously, let's remember that uh, our backyard is a cemetery. Right? It's logical that people will come and pay respect to their loved one. I know he's actually got a point. These people around there, they love to pay the dead respect. I can't wait to move into our beach house. Yeah, when's that going to be ready? Very soon. Two weeks, maximum. I promise. This place isn't so bad. All right, put them in a circle, not in alphabetical order. Try to make it pretty tight so we can fit our little hands in there, right? Got it. Nice. Hey, uh, where do I place these? Ah, the yes and no. Put them on opposite sides facing each other, okay? And take these letters, mix them in with the numbers, and, uh, Let's make a circle, right? All right. Nice.
I call the spirit to this room. I call the spirit to this room. I call the spirits to this room. Now what do you say we talk to my dead grandpa? His name is Arthur Vandalay. Okay, Arthur Vandalay, you have to put your hand on the cup very lightly so it'll move around and say, I talk to the spirit of Arthur Vandalay three times. Alright? I talk to the spirit of Arthur Vandalay. I talk to the spirit of Arthur Vandalay. I talk to the spirit of Arthur Vandalay. So now what? You have to be patient, all right? We wait. Oh, come on. This is BS. You're just fooling around with us again. I'm done. Stop being a brat. Is there a spirit in this room? If there's a spirit in this room, answer by yes or no. You guys better not be pushing this cup. <laughs> it's amazing, I'm not doing anything. Do you want to communicate with us? <sighs> David, be ready to write down all the things that it points to, okay? Alice, you do it. Are we bothering you? Question. Are you a guy or a girl? <laughs> How old are you? Oh, all right, we got a funny spirit here, huh? Nice. How old am I? Hey, Dick, I need your help here. Oh, yeah, I'll be right there. Just when I was getting fun. Ah, don't worry, we'll have plenty of time to do it again, okay? I know. Thank you, we have to go. What the fuck? That dog we saw the other night. Oh, why do I feel like such a fucking wimp? I think all those stories are getting to you, eh? Whatever, dude, I'm loaded. I'm gonna go inside. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, now you're loaded. I'll get some more wood and I'll join you. Son of a bitch. Hey, stop. Probably the lady from the cemetery the kids were talking about. Your children are beautiful. Thank you. What are you doing here? What? You don't want me here? No, yet. What I mean is, don't you think it's dangerous to be alone in the forest at night? Dangerous? For whom? Seriously, the one thing I don't understand, every single Filipino I know, excellent ping pong player. <laughs> All of them. They're just like hitting it, spinning it. I tried to play, like 21 nothing. 21 nothing. I don't get a freaking <laughs> point in. You guys are like half Filipino, so you're probably pretty good at ping pong too. Talk about generalizing. <laughs> Stereotypes are there for a reason. That's all I'm saying. It's taking him so long. Ah, uh, who knows, who knows, who knows. I'll go check it out. 
Hey, Papa's home. Richard? Bro, where you been, man? Richard? <laughs> I guess he's tired. So what do you say? We go down to the store, get some ping pongs, get some paddles, and you show me how to play, because I don't know and I know it's in your blood. Alright, you gotta teach me what we'll you know. Half good players. You're gonna be yeah. half good players? What's a half good ping pong player? Like left handed? Richard? Richard, what's wrong with you? Are you mad? I'm not the one who's crazy here. What happened to you? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know how I got here. All I remember is I was in the forest picking up wood and, and, I, and I saw the dog. And I'm going mad. You're crazy. Maybe you fell or something. No. I don't think so. Perhaps I'm developing Alzheimer. You're exaggerating. This is the first time that it's happened to you. We'll have you checked as soon as you get back home. Yeah. Look, my legs will. I'll go get some ice. Maybe she'll never come back. Maybe. It's sunset. We should get back before it gets too dark. Okay. Did you hear that? Yeah. Look. Looks like that dog again. I think it's digging up a grave. There's something in the cemetery. What's all this noise about? We saw something digging up a corpse from its grave. Richard, did you hear that? Yes. Is that all you're going to say? I'll go see what's down there. That's it. I'm going to go call the police. I'm going now. No, wait for Jake or the police to come. Make up your fucking mind! Isn't that what you wanted? So just shut up! Who's that? Come. 
come to me. Richard here? No, and I'm really worried. Okay, go back to the house. I'll go look for him. Who's there? All right, you're close enough. Stop! Don't you? I think it's Richard. Are you okay? I'm okay. What happened to your mouth? Did you see anything? No. I'm still gonna go look. Have that, I'll be on my way. It's alright, Thea. Sorry for the trouble. It's okay, it's just my job. Sorry. I don't know what's happening to me. <laughs> don't worry, Dad. I love you. I love you too, Dad. Who's there? Yo. Dude, oh. dude, fucking... Damn it, what's wrong with you? Sorry, man. You find anything? There's some dog in the graves and the corpses. I guess it's better than evil shadows. What's wrong with Richard? I don't know. He's losing his memory and he keeps falling. I'm really worried about him. I told you not to stay at the Limo house. It's the spirit of the house doing that to him. Stop it, Vince. Richard is just sick, that's all. Richard is not sick. He is troubled by evil. Yeah. Please, get your family out of the house before, before it's too late. Doesn't matter anyway, Tia. We're gonna be ready to move in in two days, all right? This house will be ready, I promise. The mana numbers just arrived today. I will bring him with chart tomorrow. Growing a lot of hair. Yep. I know this the other day. It happened just like that? I don't know what's going on with me. First, 
That's the memory. Then, swollen leg. Hair growing in my back like a freaking werewolf. And like if it wasn't enough. I'm just speed black. You should get checked by the doctor. I don't think we should wait. Maybe. Ang mananambal gusto makikistorya may tungod sa Balay sa Limaw o kay Richard. Kano sa? Taod, taod. Sige. Sige. Alright, um, what about me? What's my name? Oh my god. Uh, am I gonna be rich? <laughs> Come on, usually they'll say I'm gonna be rich and I'm gonna live forever. Which one? Uh, okay, I think we've had enough, guys. Um, we should probably stop now. It's impossible. What's going on? Something's coming, Jay. Are you okay? I think so. It's coming closer. Run! talking about what are you doing with the door no dad don't open the door why not I want to get out of here I just want to go to the beach house now. I don't care if it's not finished. What is going on here? What's going on in here? Come on. What the fuck? Jake, what happened to your head? I'll explain later, all right? We, we, these kids are freaking right. We have to get out of this house. I don't know what the fuck, but these stories, they're, they're true. Richard, haven't you heard anything? Why are you standing there like nothing's going on? Richard, we have to get out of here now. Hey, man, we have got to get out of this house. Mom. Dad. I don't know that everything's gonna be okay. Sophie's just fine. Are you out of your fucking mind? 
We've got to get as far away from this thing as we can. Jake. Rachel! Jake, get the kids in the car. I'll be there in let's a minute. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Richard, you have to come with us. This house isn't good for you, baby. Baby, we love you. Come with us. Richard, come with us now. I'll come back in the morning. I need to see her. I want chocolate chip pancakes. And blueberry pancakes for me and Dad. I'll tell you what, why don't you guys eat and then I'll go get them. Oh, hey guys. We wake you up. Jake, are you hungry? Ooh, starving. Good, because Mom's making pancakes. Nice. And then we'll go get Dad. Absolutely. Hello? What? Are you sure? Okay. I'm gonna go over there. No, we ended up coming last night. Okay. Bye. What happened? Vince went to the Lamau house last night because he wanted to talk to me about his meeting with the Mananambal. And Annalisa said when she woke up this morning that he wasn't there. I don't think he ever came home. All right, I'm going to go with you, okay? No, I'll feel better if you stay here with the kids. I'll go. I want to go. Me too. I have to go talk to your dad alone, okay? But you're bringing him back with you, right? That's why I have to go talk to him alone. All right, I'm just a phone call away, OK? Oh, 
What have I done? I don't know. What's wrong with me? We need to get Dad to a hospital. We will as soon as Merwin gets here. I want to go back home. We are. Jake, did you call? Yeah, I called yesterday. The first available flight out of this place is two days from now. Thank God. I cannot wait to get out of this shit hole and go back to the real world. It never used to be this way. I grew up here. See ya. Tia, this is Vidal. He's a Mananambal, and he comes from the island of the sorcerers called Sikihor. This is Tia, Jake, kids, and Richard. Thank you so much for coming. You don't have to thank me. Richard, come on. I'm going to Ning aniko aron tabangan taka. Diliko pataban palayo nako. Diliko muhawa wala nako ilaeng antuan pa. Wala gamit. Nasayud ko kon kinsa ang nagunit kanimo karon. Nahibaw ko kon kinsa siya. Pakakun ang aswang. Richard, Richard, no! Richard, Richard, Richard! Stop, you're hurting my dad. The Aswang is. I am helping your father. We have to take him to a hospital. Your husband is not sick. He is possessed by Aswang. How do you know? Excess hair on his back, bite marks, vomiting, blood. All are signs of Aswang position. I don't understand. I will explain everything to you, but later. We need to bring him inside and protect this house against the Aswang. Merwin? Yes, sir. Bring Richard inside and tie him up, please. Okay. Whatever. I don't want you to tie up my dad. It is only to protect your dad, I promise. Merwin and Jacob, once you're done, I will need your help here. Whatever, Doc. Jacob, if you could adorn the windows with these garlic bulbs. Adorn? Marin, spread this around the house, please. OK. No, no offense, Vidal, but um, what are we doing? And what is this crap he's about to spray all over the house I just built? This is a special oil, extracted from the boiled and decanted coconut meat, and mixed with certain plant steam, upon which special prayers were said. When the aswang comes near, this oil will boil until the aswang leaves. It will stop the creature from getting inside the house through the windows. Nice. What is that? A stingray still scares the aswang. If only you are brave enough to face the aswang in combat. This dagger, made of sterling silver, that make the only effective weapon. We're protected. Sir, are we done here? Yes, we made it just on time. Now what? Now, wait and pray. We're ready for the beast. I'm gonna go look for Vince. No, you must stay inside tonight. Well, you said everything's done. I need to look for Vince. We'll go for Vince, but not tonight. The Aswang, much more dangerous at night. Well, take my chances. Vince might need my help. The Aswang comes tonight, 
and we all need your help. You're not going anywhere, partner. You're staying right here with me and the family. Okay. All right. I'll stay tonight, but I'll go look for Vincent Sunrise. I'll be with you first thing in the morning. Could you tell us everything you know about the Oswald? Honey, do you really think that's a good idea now? Yeah. It's probably a good idea to know more about the dangers you are all facing. First, the Aswan is a safe shifter. She can transform from human to animal. Oh boy. Disguise herself as a dog, bird, snake, cat, or even into another human form. Some said she sometimes just a shadow. Often she likes to take a form of a beautiful woman, but her original form is the one of an old woman. Long nails, missy hairs, and sharp teeth similar to a shark. The Aswang cannot be killed unless she takes a form of mortal in which she needs to do time to time to hurt or kill humans. The Aswang can't harm human while on her spiritual form. This is why she likes to possess a strong man's spirit to do her dirty task. Is that what happened to my dad? Yes. But how did she do it? She first will hypnotize you. She then possess her victim using her saliva through kissing. She then complete her task by biting and tricking her victim by biting into her back. This is why I need to exercise your father before it's too late. What do you mean too late? What's gonna happen to Richard? If he remains too long under her control, he will become insane or the beast will kill him when she is done with him. Please save my dad. I will. Exocrosim Domini, forget the fortis adversi. Vincent Leo de Tribu, Judah the Bear, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Was that exactly it was hell that was the aswang that was the aswang there is no doubt anymore the best control the child we need to perform the bolo bolo the bolo bolo what's that yeah it's exorcism I, I i don't know do what you gotta do i still say we take him to a real doctor that's what Richard needs, and we should do it. I need the coconut oil I gave you earlier. I left it outside. I need it now. I'll go get it. Wait. I have to check something first. Good. The oil is not boiling. The beast is not here. 
Go. I need the salt, please. Jacob, I need the coconut shell. I need this to be boiled. They were gathered on Good Friday before Easter from east side of the tree. It has a special healing power. It's weird. Yeah, no kidding. My power comes from God. If you do not have faith, we will not be able to save your father. Without faith, the Aswang has already won. You are a good boy. Get a half-filled glass of water and a straw. Jacob, is the coconut shell ready? Yeah, just finished. I still say we take him to a real doctor, though. He wants to hold Richard. Not yet. Only if necessary, be ready. It's about all time. Anita, why can't you send this? Leave me alone. Come on now. Tia, read these prayers with faith. Do not stop, no matter what happens. I, bu I bind you in the name of the Father, by the power of the most precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, and by the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary and Saint Michael. Peter, the archangel, the blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, and all of the saints. And I command you to leave Richard and go to the foot of the Holy Cross to receive your sentence in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Richard! Richard! 
You okay? Did you fucking see that? The corners are quick. They did a job. Now the worst needs to be done. Why don't you, uh, you let me talk to Tia, and uh, you go talk to Vince's wife. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you for everything that you're doing for my family. Do not thank me. It is not over yet. Yes, it is. As soon as we find my brother, we're going home. We're not spending another night here. Probably. That's my thing to do. Vidal, how come you know so much about the swamp? It is a long and sad story. Are you sure you want to know? Very much so. Very well. Fifty years ago, when I was only a teenager, I witnessed the Aswag taking a little girl from my village. It's located in the island of Sikihor. Nobody ever saw that little girl again. It's terrible. Did you know who she was? She was my sister. I'm so sorry. Thank you. It was so long ago. But yet, I still remember. Like it happened yesterday. Is that when you decided to revenge your sister? The right thing to say would be, from that moment, I vowed to find my sister. But the truth is, I was too scared to even talk about it. So what happened? God chose me. He gave me abilities to heal and help people. When I realized my blessing, I felt ashamed of myself. And only then did I decide to fight heaven.
take this. You are faster than me. What are you saying? These are the marks of the Aswang. She is here. Alice is in danger. Run. Control of yourself. Your family needs you. I'll go find him. No! I'm gonna go find that bitch! You stay here with my son! Family back. Richard! Richard! Richard!
Alice? Alice! Muna na yung panahon nga ako gikahadlukan. Ha? Kaya ang aswang karoon at sugod na o balhin siyang pagkatao. Unahin na baka atanan? by the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Saint Michael, the Archangel, the Blessed Apostle, Peter and Paul, and all the saints, I command you to leave and go to the foot of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Yeah. Don't you want to know what's wrong with Alex? No, don't listen to her. If you want to know how to save her, you'll have to come closer. Come on, 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 come on,